The original members that are left have always been looking for that consistent lineup, and we've found it now. Yeah, Bridget, maybe to start uh, off with you, how is your Yiddish? <laughs> mm. um, very little. It's getting better. Um, yeah, for this, um, actually, for this current album, I haven't had to learn Yiddish. Um, but when we do the songs live, there's a song on the album called Sabrent. Which, um, which you sang two nights in the row. Yeah. Last two nights. So it's actually quite good to hear you. Did. Thank you. Mm. Do you guys help her out a little bit for the pronunciation? Or? We're always, <laughs> help, we're always <laughs> helping her oh, out. Fuck. I don't know about that. Pronunciation, time, everything. We're always helping Bridget out. That's what we do. But do you speak Yiddish? No, 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 I don't speak Yiddish. It's funny because actually the violinist is German and there are some similarities. So for pronunciation, yeah. I actually went to her. Um, mm. And also um, Steve, um, who plays clarinet, he's quite good at a little bit of the pronunciation mm -hmm. as well. Okay, because um, yeah, this is the first album now that you were uh, well recording together. I don't know how mm. how did it work before. I mean, did you already uh, know each other? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Bridget's been singing with us for about um, on and off for about three years. Three. This is well, gosh, three or four it could be four. Years. Yeah. Three or four years. Well, um, yeah. And um, yeah, so we've known each other, you know, we've traveled, done gigs all over the world with, together. Um, and when we set out on this album, it was, you know, we were at the place, you know, Bridget was available and we, we were, she, you know, she was exactly what we were looking for on this album. And we, we wrote a lot of the songs to suit her voice, um, yeah. rather than just writing songs um, and then finding a singer like we'd done in previous albums. It was really a kind of conscious decision, right, we're gonna, these kind of songs suit Bridget, and that's that. I think it really comes through on the record. The fact that it, the songs do were specifically written for her. Because were you at that time looking for a steady lineup, uh, uh, vocal wise? A steady. Uh, yeah, lineup. Yeah, more stable, yeah. yeah. We're, we're always looking for a more stable <laughs> yeah. lineup. I mean, we've had a quite. A, we've got quite a history as far as lineup goes. I mean, it, it has changed a lot over the. Years. It started out very, very solid for the first kind of few years of the band and then we went through a period of, of it changing, people coming and going, um, getting different guests in, but we've always been, the original members that are left have always been looking for that consistent lineup, and we've found it now, you know, with Bridget on vocals, um, Anna Phoebe on violin, um, new, amazing new trumpet player Dave Orchin, um, so we've, we've, we've got a really strong lineup now and I think that comes through in the record, the yeah. fact that there's a consistency there in the playing and the standard of playing and the, the, you know, the, the kind of players that we're working with. Because the relative new members, so to say, were there specific, uh, specific things that they've brought in um, music-wise that you maybe didn't have before? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the yeah, trumpet you... player actually has quite a, uh, a liking for jazz. Um, so it's, it's nice that we've had a little flavour of jazz added. Not too much. Well, not too <laughs> much. <laughs> so when, when it gets too much, we do this. <laughs> That's less. Jazz. <laughs> but it's a joke. No, we love everything he plays. It's yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Because also with you and the vocals, maybe it of course is very, uh, yeah, it gives very big character also to the sound. Uh, what was maybe for, yeah. for this album, the main focus, to what you want to achieve sound-wise if you compare it to the other ones before? Uh, I think Josh hit the nail on the head. Consistency. And I think we wanted to create quite a, a live atmosphere, get the energy of the live show, because that's where we definitely are at our strongest. So getting that onto record, which is why it's important to have the same lineup, because when you're rehearsing and doing pre-production and we're all in the same room together, you know, the energy mm -hmm. is something that is, is much better than, you know, a sterile environment of being in the studio and, you know, tweaking buttons. Mm -hmm. So it feels very much like a, a real band sound, a real yeah. live sound. but. I think also when, I mean, on this album, we kind of forgot it a little bit on the last album. Um, the idea that I think it's quite important for a band like us, um, we, we don't use specifically the latest sound, the sound of 2008 or the sound of 2009. We try and make something that's a bit timeless. So if you didn't discover the album until 2015, you wouldn't really know that when it, when it was made, it's just a, time, a beautiful timeless recording. I think we had that on the first record we kind of forgot that a little bit on the second record and we've come back to that. Mm. We're trying to make something that's really consistent um, and has just a beautiful, it's just beautiful songs beautifully recorded without loads of tricks of a particular year, the sound that 
people are using. So it's that consistency and the timelessness of the record, I think, is what we were looking for.